Welcome to STV News. This is Nuri Alamin with the headlines. India assures Bangladesh to solve the fuel crisis, take regret measures to solve flooding in Silet, says Prime Minister. With special emphasis on Rohingya issue, Bangladesh will focus on the food and energy during UNGS session, says Foreign Minister. Election Commission unveils a roadmap for the national elections, EVMs to be used in 150 constituencies. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said that India assured to assist Bangladesh to solve the fuel crisis. She also said that India would finance the construct pipelines from the Shiliguri to Dinajpur in Bangladesh through which petrol would be imported. The Prime Minister made the comments while discussing the various aspects of her visit at the press conference in person at her official residence, Ganovavan, this afternoon. She also said that with a motto of friendship with everybody, amity with nobody, Bangladesh and India solved the maritime and the land border problems. Hasina also informed that the Modi government assured her about taking required measures to stop the flood situation in Silet. The Prime Minister also said, Bangladesh achieved many things from the Indian tour. The Prime Minister recently went a four-day official visit to India for the first time in the three years. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina re-emphasized to put concentration on research in the country's medical sector, saying excellence is not achieved without any research. She also made the remark at the opening ceremony of the Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Medical University BSMMU Super Specialist Hospital held in the hospital on Taka today. Joining virtually from her official residence at Ganovavon, the Prime Minister urged the country specialist physician to spend more time on the research alongside attending the patients as research is very much urgent. She also appreciated BSMMU's own initiative for the appointment of Professor Emirates to improve the quality of health education and research sector as well. Foreign Minister Dr. A.K. Abdul Momen said that uh, with a special emphasis on Rohingya issue, Bangladesh will focus on food and energy during the high-level meetings on the upcoming 77th session of the United Nations General Assembly, UNGA. He also added that apart from these issues like climate, COVID-19 sustainable accommodation and digital infrastructure will also take precedence. The minister made the remark while responding to reporters at the press briefing held in the foreign ministry in Taka today. Moment confirmed that the Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina will be in New York from 20 September to join the meeting. The theme of the session of the UN General Assembly is a what ship, a moment transformative solution to interlocking challenges. The Election Commission EC unveiled the roadmap for upcoming 12 national election today. The four election commissioner EC secretary and additional EC secretary revealed the roadmap on the commission auditorium in the capital at Agargao. Chief Election Commissioner CEC Kaji Habibul Awal could not be present due to health reasons. Election Commissioner Amdi Asan Habib, who gave the keynote speech as the chief guest in the absence of the CEC, said that the main purpose of the roadmap is a free, fair, participatory and acceptable election. The is they took the election and decision to the EVMs in 150 pit and says for the opposition in the nine political parties, including BNP and Jatiya Party, to the use of the device. Finance Minister A.H.M. Mustafa Kamal said that the government is considering introducing the market-based foreign currency exchange rate he also made the comment while speaking to reports virtually this afternoon. The finance minister remarked and came against the backdrop of the recent instability in the foreign currency market where the US dollar exchange rate recently went up to Taka 119 from Taka 85. Meanwhile, responding to a question on the refixing the bank lending rates, he also dismissed the possibility of any upward or on downward change in the lending rates against the existing rate. 6 to 9 percent in tourist on the deposit and the bank loan. About the foreign exchange reserve, he also said that the foreign currency reveals is in the good state. 
Textile and Jute Minister Gulam Dastagir Gaji today said that the government is very much cordial about the relaunching the state-owned jute mills due to the global demand. The minister also said that the process of leasing three more jute mills are underway by following the government decision to resume the productions of the closed jute mill across the country. Gulam Dastogir made the comment to the reporter after visiting Amin Jute Mill at the Polash in Chattogram. He also said that the step will create the new employment facilities and the government is determined to reopen all the closed mill. The Traffic Division of Dhaka Metropolitan Police DMP asked all the secondary school certificate assist the examines to keep enough time in hand while leaving the residence for the examination center due to the slow traffic in Dhaka. The law enforcement agency said that amid heavy rain over the last few days, an ongoing construction in Determine and the different roads, the movement of the vehicle has been very much slow due to the accumulation of water on the various roads. DMP has banned the public access except the students within 1,200 yards of the exam centre during the SSC examination. The announcement was made in a circular signed by the DMP Commissioner Muhammad Shafiqul Islam today. The examinations will start on Thursday. Dhaka traffic came to a near standstill as the incessant rain triggered by the depression over the Bay of Bengal caused the heavy grid block throughout the capital. Residents of the capital, especially officer goers and official students, were facing commute woes due to the rainfall that has no signs of stopping any time soon. Many were seen walking along the road in the rain due to a lack of the vehicle. Rickshaw and CNG round auto rickshaw were seen charging commuters extra taking undue advantage of the situation. Viewers, we're taking a short break. Stay with us. Welcome back and you are watching SATV News. Now news from abroad. The Queen Elizabeth II coffin remains at the Buckingham Palace ahead of the procession to the Westminster today. It will be moved later on the day to the Parliament Westminster Hall where the Queen will be lying in state for the four days. Princess William and Harry along with King Charles III will accompany the coffin to the Westminster on foot. Princess William and Harry along with King Charles III will walk behind the coffin as it is carried on a gun carriage. During the procession, guns will be fired at Hurdy Park and a big band will toll. Hundreds of thousands of people are expected to file past the coffin to pay their respect with a huge pulsing operation in the palace. The Queen's funeral will be held on Monday. Ukrainian troops that pressed deeper into the Russian-occupied territory in the continuing the counter-offensive that has inflicted stunning blow on Moscow military prestige. As the advance continued on Tuesday, Ukrainian border guard services said that the army took control of the Botnats, a town that lies just three kilometers from Russia and was seized from the first day of the war. Russian troops were also abandoning the southern city of the Militopol and heading toward the Moscow annexed cinema. However, Moscow said at its daily briefing that its military was carrying out a massive strike across the Ukrainian front line. Since the Moscow abandoned its main stronghold in the northeastern Ukraine on Saturday, Ukrainian troops have uncaptured dozens of towns of what appeared to be the stunning shift in the battle ground at momentum. The United States is considering option for a sanctions package against China to deter it from invading Taiwan, with the European Union coming under the diplomatic pressure from Taipei to do so for the same. The deliberations in the Washington and Taipei separate lobbying of the EU and Boy were both at the early stage. In both cases, the idea is to adopt the sanctions beyond the measures already taken in the West to restrict some trade, investment with China in sensitive technologies like computer chips and telecom equipment. 
China claims Taiwan as its own territory and last month fired the missiles over the island and sailed warships across the unofficial sea frontier. After U.S. House of the Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited the Taipei in which Beijing saw as the provocation. Even Secretary General Antonio Guterres called for the solidarity and cooperation to address a world in peril. The Guterres made the appeal to the opening of the 77th United Na General Nations Assembly, UNGA, on Tuesday, citing conflict and climate global, a broken and broken global financial system, poverty, indiquity, hunger and divisions. He said, that we all face a world in peril across our work to advance pitch, human rights and sustainable development as well. He also added that addressing common challenges will require continued solidarity as we demonstrate the great promise and potential of this organization. Now it's first news. The Bangladesh Cricket Board, BCB, announced a 15-member squad to be led by all-rounder Saqib Al Hassan for the upcoming T20 World Cup in Australia next month. Wicketkeeper better Nurul Hassan Sohan has been named as the co-captain of the squad which excludes Mahmoud Lariyab. Other members of the squad are Sabir Rahman, Mehdi Hassan, Miraj, Afif Hussain, Lichon Dash, Yasir Ali Rabbi, Mustafa Rahman, Musaddeh Hassan Shoikab, Mohammad Saifuddin, Taskin Ahmed, Ibadat Hussain, Hassan Mahmud, Najmul Hussain, Shanto, and Nasum Ahmed. Shomu Sharkar, who was the dropped out squad following the poor performance in the last edition of the T20 World Cup, has been kept as one of the four stand by the players in this squad. Before ending, we we'll go through the SCTV News headlines again. <music> India assures Bangladesh to solve the fuel crisis, take required measures to solve flooding in Silet, says Prime Minister. <music> with special emphasis on Rohingya issue, Bangladesh will focus on food and energy during the UNGA session, says Foreign Minister. Election Commission unveils a roadmap for the national elections EVMs to be used in 150 constituencies. You are up to date with our top stories so far here on SCTV and to know the latest news visit www.sctv.tv. Stay with SCTV.